Good morning, Bell Arts, and welcome to the B-O-L-T-S Bolts Bulletin for Tuesday morning. Ladies and gentlemen, today our word of the day is leadership. That's right, L is for leadership. Now let's take a look at the textbook definition. If you were to Google the word leadership, this is what you're going to find. Leadership is the ability of an individual, group, or organization to lead, influence, or guide other individuals, teams, or entire organizations. Now that is a mouthful. And it's great and all to know what the dictionary says, but I want to know what them kids are saying. So we're going to go ahead and cut to everybody's favorite segment. We're going to be having some fun with Coach on the run. Coach, are you out there? What are the kids saying? What are the teachers saying that the word leadership means to them? Okay, thanks, Mr. C. I'm with Izzy, third grade. We're at breakfast, and I have a question for you. What does leadership mean? Leadership means that you don't care that you're the type of Oh, uh, leadership means... Kind and helpful? All right. All right. I am here with a safety. Nina in fifth grade. Nina, I have a question for you. What makes a good leader? Standing up, being kind to other people. All right. Thanks, Nina Z. I'm here with Miss Fine, the second grade teacher. Miss Fine, I have a question for you. Our word is leadership. What does being a leader mean to you, or how are you a leader? Well, I think a leader is somebody who's a role model for other people. Um, I try to be a leader by showing my students what their behavior should look like, and I think students can do the same for each other. Great answer. Back to you, Mr. C. That was a great answer, Miss Fife. And spoiler alert, we're going to see that name again in just a second because guess what? It is time for our fun run leaderboard announcement. That's right, Tuesday morning. Let's see how everybody did over the weekend. Our third place class, meaning they fundraised so far, the third most amount of money in the school is... There's that name again, Miss Fife. Congratulations, Miss Fife's class. Our second place class is Miss Stimmick's class. Good work, Miss Stimmick's class. And then finally, our first place class. Now I remind you, this class will have the opportunity to shave my head now before I reveal the name. You don't have to shave my head. You might be like, ooh, dang, Mr. C, you are looking good. We just need to touch that up a little bit. You don't need to do anything crazy. You don't have to do anything wild. But I guess it's up to you. Let's see what class has fundraised the most money so far in the fun run this year. It is Miss Forstex class. Congratulations, Miss Forstex class. I'll be around to check in with you in just a minute. And before we go, I'm going to be pulling another fun experience from the magic hat. Now, let me tell you how these rules are going to go. Everybody's going to start at zero. That means that if you fundraise the most money or the least money, it won't matter. From right now, Tuesday morning, till tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, whoever fundraises the most money for the fun run in that time will get to, let me find one, here's one right here, we'll get to, <laughs> I hope it's candy, we'll get to toilet paper Mr. C's office. Wait, what? 